people. Okay, so basically on my haul, I didn't really get to know a lot of people until second semester, it seems like, or like late first semester. Like, you you have to let give time for like relationships to grow. Like, you're not going to have a super, super best friend the first day or that. Cause, and if you do, it's fake. Because you don't know them and they don't know you. And you just you just can't do that. You have to, like, it's so hard. Sorry, I wasn't looking at you guys. Sorry. Um, it's so hard when you first go to school because you're all alone. And you really, like, you probably had a best friend pro most of your whole life, like, I know a lot of us do and maybe some of us don't so you guys have like the upper hand but it's so hard to be all alone and your parents leave and your siblings leave or whoever came and helped you move in and then you're alone and you're like what am I gonna do and it's so if you're if you don't have like people that you want to be around that you knew but prior to school what am I getting to Right, it's, it's so easy to kind of latch on to people and just be like, I'm just going to go with you everywhere. And like a lot of times that person may be your roommate or whoever, but my roommate was kind of an absentee roommate. She went like, she went home like twice a week. So I was by myself a lot at first. I have something weird on my lip. Ew. Yeah, I was by myself a lot in the beginning and it was really hard, but... I just kind of embraced it and took it as time to kind of find out who I was and how I am when I'm alone and stuff. So you just have to take it, take your situation and spin it as positively as you can and just um, try to do it that way. But don't try to um, latch on to somebody like when you first get there because it's so easy to do that. And so like you're going to want to do that because it's you know you're not alone so it's awesome stuff so just learn how to be independent that's what college is about being independent and i just need to stop moving around um yeah embrace embrace the opportunities here we go what you need to do is when you get to college embrace the opportunities for growth they're gonna be everywhere and you can either take them or you can leave them but you need to i would say my advice to you guys would be to challenge yourself and take the hard the harder route or whatever like yeah go go to the diner alone go walk around alone take a walk if it's daytime you know if it's safe um go explore by yourself you never know where you end up and you never know who you um end up around or meet or you never know, you just have to, like, go for it alone sometimes. Like, you really have to learn how to be by yourself because nobody's there to hold your hand, like, academic-wise, socially. Sometimes you just got to chill by yourself and you got to be cool with that. And once you're cool with that, it makes you more confident and stuff. So, yeah, that's the one thing I want to tell you guys. And I'm glad that my talking for, like, 20 minutes now <laughs> helped just go sit in your line like go sit in the common areas and then people will come around you and then when they come around you speak to them say hello say hi what's up what are you doing like what is your life like and then you'll meet people and then you'll know people and then you won't not know people anymore because I know a lot of you might be I was concerned about me not knowing anyone but one easy way to get over not knowing anyone is to go up to somebody and say hello hello people of the world don't do that because they'll think you're weird but yeah so that's what i'm gonna do because right now let me tell you i'm going to a new dorm nobody from my old dorm is in my new dorm so i don't know anybody except for that one the two people i know this one girl who was in a program with me um, she was actually my host for like a, you know, sleepover thing during orientation or whatever. She was my host for that. And then this other girl that I met at the meet and greet for my program that I'm going to, I'm going to a um, writing program thing. Um, 
this semester and that's in a whole new dorm with whole new people i don't know who my roommate like i know who she's going to be like I know her name, but I never met her before. I don't know her. I don't know how things are going to go. And I don't know anybody in the dorm. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and I'm going to smile and say hi to people. And I'm not a smiley person. Like, I may seem like peppy because like, I'm peppy on the inside. But I'm not like, hi everybody, I'm Jessica. This is me. Hey. Be my friend. I'm not like that. I'm like more shy and like more like, no, oh, get away from me type person. But I'm just going to fake it till I make it and just be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, so I'm just going to say hi to people and hopefully everything will go well. And I'll tell y'all how it goes. Like when I go and hopefully I can meet cool people and hopefully, um, hopefully they like me. And I'm not like the only person without friends in the dorm. And I don't know how my roommate's going to be either. So hopefully she's okay and like not awful. And we get along enough to cohabitate. Because you don't have to be best friends with your roommate. You just have to be able to live with them. That's basically it. See I did my braids and that's brown and that's black. Hopefully. So yeah. These 10 minute intervals just. So I guess this video's over too. I was having fun. This sucks. Okay.